My name is Dr. Tim McDonald, and I'm the Chief Patient Safety and Risk Officer at Aural Datix. Prior to joining Aural Datix, I practiced anesthesia and engaged in patient safety activities for more than 30 years. And my passion has been helping organizations shatter the wall of silence. That is what too often happens when harm occurs in healthcare. I was proud to be one of the architects of the Candor Toolkit that's aimed at shattering that wall. The Candor Toolkit was supported and funded by the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality. And it stands for communication and optimal resolution. And it's a process for, for normalizing compassionate honesty when we respond to, when we learn from, and we improve after harm. Now more than ever, the world is facing an empathy and compassion crisis with patients and families, the loved ones, and members of the care team suffering from the preventable harm that is occurring due to the ravages of COVID-19. And this is harm that is befalling both the patients as well as members of the healthcare team. Candor is the antidote for the compassion crisis by ensuring that we support one another and we learn from these events in a way that we can and we will prevent them in the future. Without transparency, we are doomed to repeat the problems of the past. As Sir Liam Donaldson has said, to err is human, to cover up is unforgivable, but to fail to learn is inexcusable. The hospital and the surgeon uh, were as transparent as I can imagine anybody could be. Um, I often tell folks that uh, the surgeon is the, the poster child of what a, a good doctor should be. Um, you know, he not only notified Teresa out in the waiting room that things weren't going as they had hoped, uh, but within less than 24 hours, he was in the ICU and spoke to me about what happened and that he was accepting full responsibility for it. And within the next 48 hours, um, the president of the hospital visited me and once again informed me that um, they were taking full responsibility and that whatever I needed, all I had to do was ask. And that type of um, response um, from the, both the hospital and the, and the doctor just made me feel so much better that I had so many fewer things to worry about. Um, you know, I had plenty of time to lay there and think my head still worked okay. Um, but knowing that I was now paralyzed from at that point to neck down, that who was going to take care of the family? Who was going to handle my care? Um, how was I going to get better? And Med, the MedStar the, uh, or the hospital and their staff were just, I mean, I can't say it any other way than outstanding in their transparency with me.